An easy way to understand why we mess up talent identification is to separate performance from potential. Imagine a matrix like this. The x-axis assesses potential. How good can a person become in the future, short term as well as long term? The y-axis assesses current performance, the result that a person delivers here and now. Let me give you an example. Usain Bolt, the fastest man on the planet and the guy who ended up beating Asafa Powell's world record. Bolt is one of those people who was spectacular even in childhood. Already at the age of 13, he was predicted to be the man who would set new standards in the sprint distances. In our metrics, people like Bolt are categorized as high performers and high potential. Usain Bolt is an example of what you would call a shouting talent. Asafa Pal, on the other hand, demonstrated nothing extraordinary in his early performances. Even at age 18, his performance was really average. The same was true for Paul McCartney, Ronaldo and Michael Jordan. For some reason, their potential did not manifest in current high performance. They're all examples of what you could call whispering talents. And that's just the point. How do you find potential in something that looks ordinary at the moment? How do you spot a superstar who is not yet a superstar?